Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Yada Love Cotter Sims here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Singe Gaming versus Scuff Gaming in regards to their controllers. Now, these are two very popular uh, controller companies, and they serve a fairly similar product. Um, there's a couple other companies in the loop, uh, such as Battle Beaver Customs, uh, Shark Controllers. I haven't had the opportunity to try out their controllers yet. But uh, Scuff and Synth are pretty much the most popular as it stands right now. And uh, we're going to get into this and I'm going to tell you what I think. So first and foremost, I have been using a Scuff controller for about a year now. Uh, I've been using it ever since it first came out for the PlayStation 4, which I believe was in August or September of 2014. So a little over a year's time with this thing. And um, when it works and when these Scuff controllers work, they are fucking amazing but I do put a strong emphasis on when they work. I have gone through six, yes, six fucking scuffs since Advanced Warfare has come out. Um, they just break. I, I don't know why, I don't know what about them is just so poorly made. Um, when they are working and fully functional, it's amazing. The paddles feel great, the thumbsticks, it feels really like high quality when it's new. And the button inside of Alright, so if you guys don't know how it works, basically you have the paddles that actually click a button that's put into the motherboard of the controller. Um, that button wears out and it stops clicking, which ultimately jams it, and you can't click it anymore, and it stops working, it starts jumping by itself. Um, it, it's just bad, it's just the whole entire paddle becomes useless. That has happened to me six times, uh, the sprint button has broken on me twice. Um, it, it's it's just a fucking joke and it's gotten to the point where I have sent one of them back uh, all the way to scuff originally they charged me $25 to get it repaired uh, they sent me back uh, another one uh, which is it was the same one it was all repaired and stuff and it turns out that that exact controller broke like three weeks after so I, <laughs> I, I don't know man did they even fix it it's like it, it worked for a good three weeks and then uh, it got so badly jammed that the controller, I couldn't even press the A button, or X button, sorry, and um, it, it just wouldn't even click because the button was so badly jammed that it just kept, uh, the motherboard kept receiving responses of the X button, so it, it didn't even know what to do. It was so badly jammed, and I was just like, fuck it. So, um, I sent it to Battle Beaver Customs, because I know they do a lot of repairs, and they went ahead and repaired it, and it actually works like brand new right now, so... I was really happy about that. Battle Beaver Customs is great. I would strongly recommend you guys go there if you ever need to get a controller repaired. I have not used a controller from them personally, but I do have a lot of friends and I know a lot of you guys have used Battle Beaver and I've heard it's a really great company. So I would definitely recommend them. But uh, anyways, this video is about Cinch vs. Scuff. So there's my experience with Scuff. Um, when the controller works, it's great. And it's just, I can't be putting down that much money to get all these controllers repaired, all this money. I have, I've have i had two different scuffs, and they each have gotten repaired three times uh, by either Battle Beaver or Scuff themselves. It's just a joke. I cannot keep doing this. I can't keep blowing this money. And I asked you guys on Twitter, and you guys said, go with Cinch. They're super durable and stuff, but I was really, really skeptical because I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't want to use buttons. Uh, I'm really comfortable with the paddles because like I said when the scuff was fucking working flawlessly uh, the paddles were great I loved that feature and um, the cinch the cinch is great honestly I've had this for like a week now and I've honestly had nothing wrong with it except for one humongous problem which I'll get to in a second but um, the controller the build quality is great um, I feel like they did a great job I think they put a new like different kind of shell on the front um, it's not the same material as a regular PS4 controller. It's not as uh, it's a little bit more of a matte finish rather than a glossy finish. So I do like that, and it, the controller overall feels great. The buttons on the back are really responsive, and I do like them a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I thought that the scuff itself, the the paddles, would provide a large um, range in which you could click to jump or shoot or whatever the hell you're going to use your scuff for. I don't think anybody uses it to shoot, but <laughs> melee or whatever anyways um yeah it i felt like the scuff paddle was going to provide a much larger range and it would be better in the end but um you're just going to keep pressing in the same spot over and over again to click your button so i don't really think it matters that much as i thought it would but uh anyways 
we have the cinch and there is just a huge problem and that problem is they fucked up my order and they gave me two a buttons on the or x buttons i keep saying that i'm so used to xbox um they gave me two x buttons no melee button on the right like they normally have and the jump buttons usually on the left um, but they gave me two jump buttons, and I, I don't know, man. I'll send, I'll put up a picture right now. Um, I did have the correct setting when I ordered it. Like you'll see on the receipt, it said left button is X, right button is circle. So they they messed that up, and I don't really know what else to say. Um, the controller itself is so good. It's just like I can't catch a break, man. I've been using all these different controllers, and every company has somewhat let me down. I really want Cinch to succeed because I honestly love the shit out of this controller. But um, it's not. I'm gonna keep looking at it as a positive thing because uh, Black Ops 3 is not gonna really have panic knifing. There's two shot melee in that game, so panic knifing really isn't gonna be relevant in that game. So it's not as big of a deal as I thought it would be. So that's kind of a positive, but it's still you can't fuck up that button that bad. Uh, even when it says that I ordered it correctly, if I ordered it incorrectly and they gave me that, that's totally fine because that's on me. But I I ordered it correctly, everything was fine. But um, overall, cinch versus scuff. Let's get into these concluding thoughts here. If you have a fucking unlimited bank account uh, with billions of dollars, go the fuck ahead and go get a scuff because you're going to have to get like three of them and just keep a constant rotation of one getting sent back, uh, getting one repaired, one using. It, it, like, you're going to spend so much money. I spent probably, at, at the end of the day, on scuff controllers, probably up to almost six hundred dollars five hundred six hundred dollars at the end of the day um, it, it's a joke I can't be spending that much money on some fucking controllers uh, it's a joke normally people buy one controller and they're set for at least a year and I've gone through six and AW's not even over yet as much as we all want it to AW still has another month and a half and I have gone through six controllers. And it's not like the controllers are in bad condition. I keep them in mint condition. I'm at my desk. It's not like I have kids around. I'm in a smoke-free environment. You know, it's not like toddlers and shit throwing stuff. It's not like that. It's just at my desk. I'm the only one that touches it. And they're, all my controllers are in perfect condition. They just are poorly made and the buttons break. I don't know what else to tell you, Scuff. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't really know. Uh, you guys really got to do some... Whatever the hell Battle Beaver is doing with their stuff, and same with Cinch, the, the buttons feel so much more of a high quality, and uh, I really wish you guys could do the same. But uh, as far as Cinch goes, I would strongly recommend Cinch. Just, um, I mean, you know, Cinch, Cinch, a lot of people look down upon it just because everybody's, like, quote-unquote sponsored by Cinch. I went on a little rant on Twitter about this a while back, but... Um, Cinch pretty much grew their entire company off of people putting their code in their bio and you know that's actually pretty genius marketing now that I think about it but um, I didn't really trust Cinch just because they were so not desperate but they were willing to sponsor anybody which made me feel like the company wasn't that of uh, wasn't that luxurious I guess you could say scuff doesn't sponsor that many people um, as where Cinch does, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter as long as the product's good, and I really do like Cinch, but I, I don't know how the fuck they messed up my order like that, but, um, I don't know, I, I, to be honest with you guys, if you have the money, go ahead and get a scuff, if you are trying to get a budget controller that's really good, I would strongly recommend Cinch, and hopefully they don't fuck up your order, um, I just got a very, very generic rush-ordered, uh, Cinch controller, and um, I, I don't know, maybe they rushed too fast. I don't know. It, it was like forty dollars to get that shipped out early. It still took like six days. And um, Battle Beaver, I sent out a controller and received it back in the same amount of time that uh, Cinch Rush ordered my controller. So um, it, it's kind of annoying. I don't know. It, it's it's all preference at the end of the day, I and mean, I can't tell you which one to buy. Like I said, if you have the money to blow, get a scuff. If you don't. Uh, get a cinch I would suggest and the buttons aren't that bad. I was really really skeptical going into it um, I didn't really like the idea of buttons. I would much rather have paddles and stuff, but it really doesn't it's not that bad um, Not at all. You're really not gonna have uh, much of a difference and I think it's actually very comfortable So uh, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, what do you guys think cinch or scuff? Go ahead and put it in the comments and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed peace